Welcome back, folk. Welcome back to another episode of my Hungarian Let's Play. And uh, I've been thinking really hard, guys. Uh, we are ahead now, a little bit, of the curve, if you will, with our admin. Uh, and for that reason, I desperately want to take France down a, as much of a notch as possible. And here's the deal, guys. Uh, that looks like 100% against France, well, 99%, unfortunately, I, ah, uh, yes, that's right, the Falklands, let's take that as well, cool, so that will be the only province that I actually core up, in fact, no, I can't give it to Rio, what I could do, though, is give the occupation to Rio, if he does siege it, which I don't think he will, hmm, either way, it's so low development, we'll just core it up, uh, what I was trying to say is that looks pretty satisfying. Now the issue is if we actually hand the occupations over, that negates the uh, reduced cost from our CB, Imperialism CB. So we will actually get 25% less of that when we hand the occupations over. And for that reason, I'm not going to hand the occupations over to my subjects. I'm instead, instead going to grant them the provinces. Uh, however, I can only grant, this is 176 of extension, guys, massive. I can only grant the provinces while at peace. And so what I intend to do is wait for this to finish coring up, and then I'm going to fully annex this nation, which is worth 34.5. I'm going to 100% into this nation, so do the rest of the, the of extension, which will probably be something like uh, what, 65? So, so something like that. And uh, then we're going to deal with France. And uh, yeah, I've been looking around. I mean, our truce is coming up with the Ottomans in two years' time. And if I do this, that's going to give me the opportunity to go into these two guys. Uh, this is completely free. And we would have to fight him and him, which should be pretty easy as well i suggest so that gives us something to do in the meantime and then we can go back into the ottomans for another 100 percent chunk and uh, perhaps well purchase quite some time after that um perhaps by that time these members of the empire have finished uh coring up the provinces can form the hre and be more well prepared to do some real real stuff Ah oh man, truce comes up in four years with Scandinavia, it's tempting, <laughs> it's tempting to wait before we integrate the Empire uh, to feed them some more, but it's just too much. Also, we should be, I'm trying to spend my development in provinces where I know it's going to pay off immediately, like this counting house manufactory here. I remember building the manufacturing in that province, it was worth a ton. So let's spend the Diplo on provinces with our nice, uh, our nice manufactories. Many of these are kind of um, capped out. Hmm. The other thing with our money, I'm saving up to embrace our institute. But yeah, oh, look at that. These are some good manufacturers that we're going to uh, inherit from our subjects. Do it! It's worth it! Spent no, screw it. It can be done after we embrace. Come on, monk. Let's be reasonable. We're close to embracing. I don't know how much it's going to cost, but probably a lot. So uh, let's be sensible. I just want to do it while I remember, lol. Uh, I was looking at our liberty design. Even our one province miners are becoming more happy that kind of bugged out but that shows just how our uh combined strength of all of our subjects compared to us our, our prowess is just so massive nowadays um which feels pretty good feels pretty good man this region is about to be fully converted which is very nice hopefully no more rebels here again speaking of which let's get rid of this castle and yeah let's get rid of that castle as well as i suspect there will be no more rebels in that area hopefully in fact 
the same goes for Marco, eh? I should send a missionary there, though, to finish it off. Uh, looking pretty Catholic, guys. The world's looking pretty Catholic. It is a little bit nerve-wracking. I think we literally have as many missionaries as possible. Uh, maybe we got a policy or something where we can grab more missionaries. But I think we just about have as many missionaries as possible for us. Uh, the one thing we could probably do is improve our missionary strength. At the moment, because of the modifier we have, our rebel factions, uh, which is what? The reaction modifier. Reaction, negative 10 unrest. Beautiful. Almost all of our rebel factions have dissipated. Uh, I can see there's one close. Who is this guy in the where we've recently conquered land from Persia. That makes sense. As it is Sunni, we've got overextension. They're just so pissed. Uh, we've got quite a few troops to respond here, though. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so the stacking the unrest on the unrest is pretty nice. But I think for sure I'm going to have to bite the bullet and uh, go for the missionary strength. You know, cutting down these uh, the progress even by one or two months on some of these provinces, uh, it will add up. It will add up for sure. But just not yet. I'm thinking about which regions I wish to convert uh, so that we don't see rebellions there again. And I think Japan. Japan is the place to do it. Um, maybe... Maybe, uh, no, Japan, yep, let's focus on Japan, it's just easier, start from the top, down to the bottom, and uh, we're going into a war again with Japan shortly, uh, but we have to be at peace, remember, I'm not going to start another war until we are at peace, <laughs> so that we can, it's going to be tedious, a little bit of tedium, to somebody said open the tab with f1 to do it automatically um i don't think he understand what i meant when i said it's tedious that we have to convert uh manually with our missionaries because i just mean uh, um i want to prevent individual rebel factions so that i don't have my troops in that need i don't require my troops to be in that area uh we can of course just use this to do it but it, it prioritizes the easiest to convert I much prefer doing it this way, so that it's not just one all over the show. We convert entire regions, and then now we will no longer have to have troops in those regions. And I'm trying to kind of close and choke in closer and closer and tighter on Asia, so that, you know, we're going to have some troops here, some troops here, some troops here, here, all over the place. And just uh, in the last sort of 50 years or so, close that gap really nicely. That's the plan. We have some cannons here. I should put a, a siege general. A siege general, which is being pre. What the? What the for mercenary cannons? What the for mercenary cannons? Did I mess up my template? They're all mercenaries. God dang it. God dang it. I didn't catch that at the time. Nobody had commented about it either when I made that. I think I made that two episodes ago. <sighs> okay, our combat width is 22. It's going to be 24. Uh, okay. I can't believe I pulled that up. Uh, we'll go for 20. That's fine. No, no. Let's go for 26, actually. I like the idea of uh, having two stacks nearby each other to reinforce each other, and uh, then you're over your combat width, um, but being under the combat width with an individual stack. Uh, however, the way we're operating, we mostly op operate with one stacks at the moment. So let's actually just make sure that we're at least reaching our combat width. Power projection's not looking good, guys. That's uh, pretty sad, bad man. 
But I mean, we've been doing well with two Edmund and we're about to get five. That's much better. Are you kidding me? Screw this AI. Screw this speed siege. Why you do this? Okay, we're we're coring up land. So we I want to be ready to peace out, please. Which means siege this back. Like instantly, please. Brunei revolt. Yeah, that's to be expected. Huh. I could actually just add it all to the trade league. There is a way, where is that, in the trade menu? To add everything. Let's just add everything. And then we can unadd everything. There we are. Cool. Cool. With the reaction, it's so good. Why don't we do the same here? Now this ordinarily wouldn't do much, but on top of the reaction that we have for France, that's going to completely uh, eradicate those those rebel factions. Cool, cool. Oh, some rebels down here. Oh, and it's cut off from the Ottomans. I wonder if the Ottomans will lose the land there. Nice, we did instantly siege it. Feels good, man. It's good. Truce with Persia comes up in five years. Unfortunately, it's a little ways away, but it's it's getting there. The siege seems to be taking forever. Are we blockading the port? Is the port... Where is the port exactly? I can't tell. Uh, yeah, I can't tell. Because I should be fully annexing him, which we cannot do until I take this fort. We're never going to create a proper fleet, guys. Our um, bloody naval force limit is really high. Okay, we're actually waiting on that. That's uh, kind of horrible. Oh, I realized our inflation modifier is not up right now. Let's get that jamming because uh, we're getting inflation from our trade fleets pretty big time. And I guess, yeah, let's take a mercantilism if our papal influence is going to be so high. Oh, I can assault that. Uh... Oh man, I hate wasting time like this. This is a disputed succession. Who the? Him. <laughs> Lame. Lame! Give me a PU! There's like nobody remaining to PU. Oh, Prussia is uh, fighting a big battle there. He's leading the battle. Good job, Prussia. This French shore are tough, however. Okay, so I guess we've got this amount of time. We need to be at peace. I should be... Okay, okay, let's do the math. Because I can peace out the other guy right now, I think. Hang on. This is... 34.5. Which means 56 point... Yeah, that's about all we're going to do. I can't get 2% anywhere. My absolutism... Oh, we got a free merchant. My absolutism is not high uh, like it should be. Um, we don't have any mer real factions. Please be 50. No! We don't have any harsh treatment because we're too stable. Oh, damn it. No, we're too stable. Okay, damn it. Um, that is okay. We're one away from our max absolutism. Now, something occurred to me... Which is, we need military points. And I'm going to position these guys to go back into war here in a moment. Uh, so, let's grab some military points from our estate. I haven't done that in too long. If we grant a general, that's at six. Okay, so we need to add a province to the nobility. And that will be 75. 10 development. How do we look? 
Oh, come on. I should have added it higher to a higher development. Okay, so let's look at um, nobility. Because I can't remove it from the one I just took. Let's remove it from 6 and put it on 13. How does that do us? There we go. Grant General. 150 military points. Sweet. Sweet. I was saving up for a military idea, but screw it. We finally completed offensive ideas and that gives us that 5 discipline. Very nice. 20% uh, increased force limit. Our force limit is so high, but it will be interesting to see... Um, how many troops we inherit from the Empire and where our situation is, you know, because we probably will end up uh, deleting troops, but we'll, we'll see. We will see. Now, most of the wealth is just pouring out of Africa. We don't need a merchant there. I literally have no idea where we should have a merchant. Maybe uh, here in Zanzibar. We have to, there's quite a lot there. Yeah, that's, that's a good place. Um, we literally have to rework it anyway, guys. We're going to have to rework it all when we hit the Empire button. So, here we go. Now, I need that fort. We need these forts still. Because that region is just not stable. Alrighty. How are you looking on, on the peace, France? He's at 70... He's getting there. It's at 79. The booger. So, in other news, guys... Oh, why are you so mad? Okay. That's fine. We can handle 10% increased land maintenance cost. Uh, in other news, guys, I had my first... Um, you know how you guys... I'm sure those of you who will, like, uh, operate on um, on uh, YouTube uh, know of, like, what they call, like, the adpocalypse. And, uh, basically, if you don't understand what that means... Uh, any kind of YouTube video that has any kind of swearing or um, what they call quote unquote like, uh, well, what what is the terminology they use? I don't know, offensive or um, it's hard to be like non-biased because I use the kind of terminology like uh, I I think people are really sensitive and stuff, and so is YouTube. But it's their website. It's whatever. Um, not sure if I'm making perfect sense, but basically recently a lot of people have had their ad revenue like absolutely decimated because like they act like complete idiots is the long story short and then YouTube doesn't like that and, and it uh, does what they call like a partial monetization. And uh, yeah, I, I just, uh, it had, hadn't affected me at all. I know that it had affected the amount of ads on the whole channel, but like I don't think about this stuff anyway. But it had not affected me at all, believe it or not, until my pre my last video. In my last video where I just randomly dogged on Americans, because that's just what I do. Um, you know, got to mix it up a little bit. Uh, demonetized. <laughs> and, like, I just thought I'd let you guys know. Because, um, like, these videos, you know, I'm getting only so late in the series only a thousand or so views uh which you know i say only again i've, I've talked about that i don't take it for granted but it, it's not much in terms of making any kind of revenue uh so it's it's pretty inconsequential but i just thought it was amazing because you know they don't have moderators that are watching this do they no way because there's just so many videos out there of this kind of a concept with this amount of sort of viewership uh, yeah, so they have bots who are picking up, like, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy, man, to me. It seems crazy. Skynet is real, man. Like, oh, you say something politically incorrect? Demonetized. That's pretty impressive, I have to admit. So, uh, what's the moral of the story, guys? The moral of the story is, um, start dogging on the Jews, I think. We'll start, YouTube's a little bit Jewy. <laughs> Oh my god, this one's going to be de demonetized as well, just for that. Don't say Jew. Don't say Jew. That's equality, alright? 
Don't even say it. Come on. We all know what equality means in the um, post post American. Just stop. Just stop while you're ahead, monk. Just stop. Alrighty, back to the game. <laughs> So we're waiting for this 100% so that we can hand it all off uh, to our subjects. And we could easily take some... Um, how old is our ruler, by the way? 48. Does it abjugate f uh, affect legitimacy? I think it does. Disinherit doesn't, but abjugate does. Yeah, we can't really do abjugating at all, can we? Because you are... Your legitimacy is lowered on your air. That's... That's too rough in the late game. Uh, we probably value the absolutism more than we value the admin per month right now. <gasps> well, I was about to say something to get free stability boosted upon, but no, just take corruption. It's more sensible. Yep, so I plan to go straight in here and straight in here in a moment. Also, uh, I should be gearing up to go back in against Japan. Um, it'll be interesting to see how much... Let's check the war score cost. It'll be interesting to see how much of extension this gives us. Ah. Yeah, well, we should be able to take it on one more, maybe. We'll see. Cool. Should be able to do that easily, I think. My head is not, like, you know, good, the best at judging right now. Because I'm not used to the absolutism and stuff. But I think we can easily annex Japan there. Of the amount we have. And uh, I'll be really looking forward to... Um... Nice. They get to attack... They attack us in the mountains there. That's sick. Uh, are we progressing on any forts? Not really, eh? God dang it. We got ticking war score, though. Uh, I'm, I'll be really looking forward to forming the Empire, guys. Even though it, it will be tedious. There's no way to escape it. Uh, it'll be really cool, though. Really, really cool. I can't wait to be a big, tough guy. I think maybe... I'm trying to think while I just ramble on about nothing important. Um, if we... Just carpet siege everything that's not fortified. That might... Give us the war score that we need at this stage. Some of these provinces are fairly high development. Oh, a dude. Hello, dude. Oh, Corey is getting wrecked. We should attack him as well. Hmm. Mm, I wonder if this warring like this, all the attrition is affecting the massive amount of manpower that Ming has. Ah, it kind of is, eh? It's got under 100,000. It's affecting his manpower. That war? Cool. Uh, Ming's making me nervous, man. This guy is massive. We're going to have to be truce-breaking him. I think the... Look at that. Oh, my God. Wow, he's big. There's definitely going to have to be some truce-breaks on Ming. I think... Um, give me your thoughts, guys. Is the way to go to attack one of the tributaries or to attack him directly and just fight him by himself? Uh, let me know what the... the Best, best tactic is going to be. Um, uh oh. Why you do this? Oh no! We're gonna get stack wiped, aren't we? Oh, feels bad, man. Feels real bad, man. I'm not sure if winning any battles because uh, this war score, not really. Didn't seem to do anything at all at this stage. But it does, yeah, it does give him, it makes the war score more valuable. Valuable. This rank one bloody dude is pissing me off so much. Here, let's hire that guy. Get rid of these other guys. Can I get a rank three dude? Uh-oh, call for peace. Let's get rid of that. One time in my life can I get a rank three dude? Sweet. France is done. We're at peace. That feels good. Sweet. 
and uh, some of the tedium begins where we well first of all let's create a dude here these were the mercenaries right yeah just just get gone just get gonified I don't want all these mercenary cannons and such cool so we got some mercenary infantry there um it all has to be done manually now let's keep some forts for france might as well and uh get rid of some of the others So many buildings i'm trying not to misclick and delete ones that i would uh, prefer to keep um yeah now that the border's gone with the french let's get rid of that castle let's get rid of that castle wait do we have a fort somewhere around here uh, i'll keep keep this one i don't think we'll need it we are going to be fighting the french ourselves, guys going to the future so you know i'll, I'll keep a little rank six fort there Make my life a little bit easier. And uh, let us begin giving some dudes. Okay, Catalonia. Ah, here we go. I'm trying to spread it out here. So, we can give some of the other Italians uh, provinces as well. Uh, that's why I'm giving him ones like going into land here to core up for us. Okay, once it starts with C. I really don't want to make a mistake, guys. You have to forgive me. It's going a little bit slow. I make too many mistakes already. All right, Toledo La Manca? Mancha. You can give him both of those. Now I want to kind of uh, spread it out as much as possible because literally once these guys core up that's when we uh, hit the button. Um, so yeah that's that's a decent amount for him probably I would say but I'm gonna have to give somebody else a colony like we could give it to Sardinia I guess make sure he's got okay I'm gonna um, influence this guy because that gives him admin per month. He's got six in admin. Sure, let's give Sardinia uh, some provinces. Give him Barcelona. So this is alphabetical. We should be down here. Wait, I c it has to be bordering, doesn't it? Derp. God dang it. Dang it, it has to be bordering. I should have given him like one occupation. Damn it! Am I, everything fell apart, guys. We can give that to a dude, and this is all between Savoy and Catalonia. Damn it! No! You noob. You noob monk. You noobed it. All right, that's fine. The only, re the main reason that I was uh, worried about like spreading it out is number one, so that they could do it quickly, and number two, so that they could um, uh like not be overextended uh it's not the worst thing in the world though if they're overextended is it we will fight their rebels provence so this actually reduces their liberty desire initially so there's no pressure on us there um what he's got four admin probably smarter to give savoy a little bit more ah uh, and he's got three stability yeah probably smarter to put the pressure on savoy if possible as opposed to catalonia who was really kind of uh not looking so hot i 
I think, does it tell you if they're overextended when you're about to give them a province? I think so, eh? Yeah, there we go. Just read, you dummy. Okay, so he's about to be overextended. And therefore, um, probably not going to be keen to take this, is he? Yeah. God dang it, this might not work. I might have to call some of it up ourself. Oh well. God. Sometimes, because I had in mind I was going to give them the provinces and I changed my mind, and I don't think th things through sometimes. So let's check how much overextension is that going to give us. Hopefully we can get rid of... Okay, it's 68. God dang it. We're not going to be able to get rid of that much, guys. Bill's bad, man. Castilla... La Dudo Dudo This is probably all we can give Are any of these low development? Navarre is the lowest I think Okay will you take one more for me guy? I think we're over 100% over extension uh, Why does this guy Okay 99% that's pretty good no, we're way over. We're way over. Wait, that readjusts though. We are over, but we're not that far over. Um, damn it! Shoot, mistakes were made. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's a solution to this. Is there a way that we can give... I don't think so. I think we just went over 100% big time. Well, um, fortunately, a lot of our rebel factions have not progressed very far. We're already coring up this pretty well. So we get a lot of those negative events, uh, but it, it certainly could have been worse. That's for sure. Japan is... Same tech. Let's check how strong he is. HIJ... 28,000. Okay. That one stack should be able to do work on him. Uh, yeah. Cool. I think it's about time we go back to war like crazy. Aha! You! You! We can give him away to a dude. Let's give him to Bar. That scared me. What the hell? Bar has a pro. Huh? Huh? Who? Oh. Say who? Oh. Hello. Hello, Burgundy. Well, we cord that up quickly. Interesting. Got some cheeky reconquests there. Which we're not going to make use of at all, but we called that up for free. Uh, I think that's it. God dang it. There we go. So we're one. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I did my best. We're overextended. Let's hope we don't get punished with those events. Uh, we got a lot of admin, thankfully. Um, cool. Cool. So I guess, I guess, I guess we're waiting for these two areas to be caught up. And then uh, we, we piece of fall out, guys. That which will, a piece of fall out. Fall from the Empire. Should be pretty cool. Like, I don't know if it would be a smart move. Maybe we should uh, just keep on um, doing what we're doing. But uh, it's certainly going to be a cool move. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, let us develop... Wall that's expensive. Develop some dudes. I'm trying to make some money. Uh, how much are our loans worth? Yeah, I think it's probably worth embracing. That's negative 10. Okay. Embrace the alignment, which gives us cultural conversion cost. Who cares? And then let's tick up for negative 10 on Diplo. And uh, we're getting close to 10% admin efficiency, guys. At not not this tech or the next tech, but the tech after that. And we're about ready to take up anytime we want. Um, that 10% will make a big difference. Um, pretty, pretty good stuff. Back to war we go. Do not waste time. Do, do they share any core here? No, they're good. We're good. 
We're good. Great Britain. Twenty. No. God dang it. Improved relations. Um, twenty-seven years old British guy, eh? Hmm. That's why I didn't go aggro on him, guys. If we get our relations into positive, chuck down a cheeky royal marriage there. Be lucky for anything to happen, but if it did, it would be the dream. Uh, I'm getting just some royal marriages with some of these sort of larger nations, I guess. But uh, it's annoying that they keep offering us actually like crazy. Just um, how about uh, how do you say uh, leave me alone? Leave me alone. And uh, you. We should cancel this. Break fast civilization. Oh, we still got a truce with them. Okay. Sorry. That's only something we can do at, uh, at peace, guys. So here we go. Back to war we go. Kill a dude. So that we're ready to peace out. Spend our admin ASAP. Do this next month. Yeah, so now we can tick up our military for negative 15. And we have a... Uh, oh, crap. We've got to sort out the... Oh, crap. The ability is going to be pissed at us. Uh, what happens is when they're unhappy and you, you remove stuff, you get uh, rebels. Yeah, there we go. Well... If we declare war, the, uh, let me look at this actually. When is one of the modifiers going to change here? Like six years away. God dang it. This, this estate is in bad shape, man. So, some rebels. Those rebels can hopefully be killed by the Empire here. Shortly. Considering we're at war. They hunt things down themselves, or they at least tend to. Okay. Always got to check those pretender rebels, guys. To see where they're at. Because, uh... Chimue. Um, I wonder if they can handle... They got way more tech, but Peru sucks. Yeah, I checked the pretender rebels to uh, make sure that they're not in a personal union or anything. It's just a habit. Even though we don't have a PU right now. Okay, let's have Mexico take him out. And quickly take this guy out. I'm trying to declare too many wars that start Japan. That's an important one, man. Stop wasting time. Okay, nice. So his capital doesn't have a fort on it, and this fort is only rank 4 coastal. Hopefully we can uh, take that out with ease. I hope so. Man, I feel so much more comfortable though with being at, you know, 600. 600 admin and uh, negative cost to our admin tech. Life's good. Let's get back the ball rolling, though. We gotta just... It's gotta roll and roll and roll and roll. Some serious rebel action in the Ottomans. And these guys, he can't do anything about it. That's cool. Cool. Okay. Supported the independence of that guy, lol. I wonder if he'll move some troops out there. That'd be funny. Truce is up uh, very soon. And we can have the Empire still fight for us, obviously. Despite... The fact that they're coring up some land and we can integrate them. We can uh, declare this war on the Ottomans once again. Have some troops here ready to stabilize this region. Cool. I feel like we're being pretty productive. There was a while there. I mean, the most downer kind of uh, upsetting thing throughout this campaign was just how much we got in debt. This campaign really took a turn for the worst at that stage. But, uh... 
sometimes it happens, man. You just got to do what you got to do. And uh, we have now overcome that debt. Uh, I, guys, I have deduced, I have deduced a vault. Attack! Deduce vault. This guy can probably be fully next. Yeah, we have overcame that debt, and uh, there was a little period there where I was like, holy crap, I'm not being uh, efficient enough with our attacks and our carpet siege and annex in the land. Uh, but we got a pretty good ball rolling now. These rebel factions are, yeah, coming along down in here in Africa. God dang it. It's brutal. About to join this up, though. I'm thinking if we uh, fight this war, we could take some land from Malindi. Uh, uh, perhaps even if it costs uh, Diplo, we could do that. Okay, our overextension has not been so bad so far. Uh oh speaking of which speaking of bad rio and new castile let's spend prestige now these uh colonial nations etc they are going to be so stable once we form the holy bros once we form the holy bros they won't even know what inst instability is. They won't even know about liberty desire. They'll be like, huh? What do? Yeah, I wonder how often Britain goes to war. It's a slim chance, guys. It's a slim chance. But 50 years from now would be 73. If we could get a PE over Great Britain, that would be sick. Uh, so I'm just trying to improve relations with him. Throw a royal marriage down there. But uh, don't get me wrong. I don't have my hopes up. And uh, I plan to begin the campaigns onto the British Isles as well in due time. But the slim chance, any chance, of PUing the British would be uh, worth it. Who knows, we could get lucky. Okay, let's have a look how strong the Ottomans are. So he's, uh, our, our guys are going to go around cleaning up those rebels with us, okay? Uh, he's medium. That's probably mostly the rebels talking on his land. Uh, but he's a joke. He is a joke. You joking, mate. Tell him he's joking. Look at this. Tell him he's joking, mate. Over ten times as much. Don't worry about it. Oh, we have some uh, dudes ready to go to fight some rebels nearby. Hmm, I wonder if per if they will break the Persia. Uh, it would be cool any like nation to release there. We don't have a choose timer and we just go straight in. Speaking of going straight in. Let's begin another war. Attack. Uh, yeah, I want to see. If uh, it costs us Diplo using Imperialism CB. I don't know off the top of my head. I think if we choose this peace offer, we can take some land here without costing Diplo, um, i.e. not doing a separate piece. Uh, that's what I think, and um, either way, if it does cost us some Diplo, we could we could spend some Diplo at this stage, not too worried about that. God dang it, if we're going for a full annex, we should um, try to prevent him from sieging that down. I was, I was actually thinking we'll just trade here, but it, that's not very efficient at all. To be playing in that manner. Because we need every uh, fort on the island. Nice. Oh, jeez. The, the bugger. I forgot about my bloody... There we go. Perfect. I was thinking of advisors. Anytime I'm like about to lose a battle or something, I think about advisors. And then I remember we don't have a plus three advisor. And then we had a plus three discipline advisor. It couldn't be any better, I don't think. Of course that spawns when we're overextended, dude. God dang it. That's a big stack on that island. We're going to have to bring some uh, reinforcements. 
Economy's not doing well, eh? I thought it was mostly the liberty desire. Um, yeah, we've got to go clean up these French. That's why I've got some units here. Because we're going to be waiting. Savoy, I knew it. Savoy is handling it just fine. He's just coring everything up. But this guy here, not so much. And um, some uh, 15 to unrest from being overextended. That's only happened once. So I consider myself lucky it's only happened once. That's okay. Uh, I want to look at my colonial nations... So many diplomats free, and these guys are the guys with liberty desire. Let's throw down some. Uh... What's that called? The real faction? French Brazilians. Isn't that unusual? It's an unusual name for a real faction. Some French, Frenchy Brazilians. You guys know know the ones. French Brazilians. Um, it's just about coming to the end of the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll tell you what, guys. We're getting nearer and nearer to the end of the entire uh, series here. I really appreciate those of you who watch. Um, it's pretty crazy. I, I Sometimes, because um, I'm a bit of a dumb guy. Do you know what I mean? I'm just kind of like, oh, me play game. Me upload game. Me have fun game. Fun, fun, gum, game, game, game. Uh, that's about all the... God dang it. Go away, Rebels. That's like my entire thought process. Um, when I started the series, it's because I realized that, like, some of the better videos on my channels are just showing off games, right? And I thought, you know, this is... Uh, what can I do? Something that's ambitious. And, oh my goodness. These real factions all rose so quickly, dude um because of that massive overextension but there we go we've been there before fight them again it's no big deal um what i'm trying to say is that uh yeah i, I thought like two two birds in one stone like i'll play through a cool series and you guys can all see the inter uh intimate i suppose details of the uh, series and then hopefully i have a really nice uh game to show off right like a one faith uh, one tag. We have to clean. Oh, what the? How about you do yourself a favor and actually check how strong they are when you go to war, you damn monk? Oh, that was stack wiped. Um. Yeah, and what I'm trying to say is. What I'm trying to say is I, I want us to do like a two birds one stone thing, play through this, upload a series for you guys, and then upload the video, right? The big showcase video, which a lot of people do, and they, they seem successful on YouTube. And um, it didn't occur to me that, you know, next minute, next minute, next minute, four months later, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like this just takes so long because uh, uploading one video every day. It's just how it goes but uh, at the same time it's all the more epic and uh, it is we're getting there we're getting there we're getting nearer and nearer let's check here i wanted to see oh we need an occupation first that's right i think because this is uh under 100 percent war score cost yeah i think what we can do is take like some of the land here without costing diplo either way but we can have a big truce with him um could spend some diplo there like i said uh yeah appreciate you guys watching hope you enjoyed looks like we've got a lot of rebel factions to deal with um we've we've fought started uh quite some wars here so we can fully annex this guy we can who is this uh over here let's do that right now fully annex that guy working on japan no, Shinto's. Shinto's. Oh, gee. Jeez. We're going to have to milk up. So I'm wondering quite why. I'm wondering why we are quite so poor, guys. That is what I'm wondering. And, uh... Oh. 
Where the heck is that province? Oh, okay. I was going to uh, New Castile. Um, I'm wondering quite why we are so damn poor. And I'm going to have to sort it out here in a moment. Uh, because I want to hire some more mercenaries. We shouldn't be quite this poor, I don't think. So I'll find out exactly uh, what it is. Resolve that, hopefully. And uh, either way, once we clean up this region, perhaps I can uh, come down here and help out some of these rebels. Uh, this war... Well, we do have some of the uh, Empire coming down into this area. So hopefully this war is not so bad. But uh, typical stuff. There's a lot of rebels to clean up and a lot of wars to fight next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. A lot of our truces come up, like uh, Persia, fairly soon, in three years' time. And uh, I'll, I'll death grip over Asia becomes tighter and tighter every day. I'll see you next time.